Hi and welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. Today I'm going to show you how to make my turkey ribbon sculpture. And I like to make the one with the um, circle. So instead of the, um, the loops, I like to make the one with the circles. So I'm going to be showing you all how to cut out your circles and how to cover them and then how to make your feathers. This is the turkey. Okay, so you're going to need all of this. Let me make sure I get y'all in focus here with what you need. Now this is your ribbon list. We'll fix and go over how to do the circles. But for your ribbon, it's going to be all grow grain, okay? Or you can probably use satin for the feathers or whatever, but um, I'm using all grow grain. Okay, it's all going to be 3 8 or 9 millimeter. Okay, so for your body, so we can work out the colors here. For the body and the head, all right, you're going to need 10 to 12 1 inch pieces, which are these, and you're going to need 13 to 15 1 and a quarter inch pieces, and that's these. And that's to cover these circles. Then for the feathers, depending on the colors that you want, I just made an example of what colors I used. You're going to need um, three, three and a half inch pieces two three and a half inch yellow pieces I'm sorry the three are going to be orange two are yellow and then you're going to need five four inch pieces that are brown all right you only need a scrap of yellow or orange for the beak and then a one inch piece that is red for the little wattle and um, if you have some tiny little um, corker ribbon that would be really cute there, but I didn't have it and I didn't want to waste all that time making one little piece of corker, so I just did it like this. I'll show you how to do that. You'll need a pair of Google Eyes and a jewel decoration for the center. Okay? So, that's the ribbon list that you will need. Okay? And so, shall look at that. You can pause it. Okay, and these millimeters and centimeters are just an online conversion because I know nothing about the metric system. So, I hope they're right according to the website but anyway there's that okay now let's get to the cardboard circles that you're going to need okay for the cardboard circles you're going to need one one and a half inch circle and one one and a quarter inch circle okay and then we're gonna make these circles some of y'all may have the little tool that makes the circle for you um, what is that called a protractor or something like that I'm not sure but anyway, it's been a long time since I was in school. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to show you how to do it with a regular ruler. Okay? So, for that, let's move all the way over here so we're not distracted. Since I'm going to be using white cardboard, let's move this completely off so you can see what I'm doing, basically. I guess it probably wouldn't matter, but this was my plan. Now, I just got some thin cardboard off of a... Um, this was my filter cartridges for my fish aquarium, the box they come in. So I just use those, but cereal boxes work very well for this also. Okay? So whenever you make a circle with a straight ruler, you want to go half of whatever it is, the circle, how big you want it. Okay? So <clears throat> one and a half inch circle is what I'm going to make first. Okay? So I'm going to put the dot, the first dot, alright, at um, the three-quarter inch mark. So you take and find your three-quarter inch, which is right there, okay, and then your one and a half inch mark, and then back there at the first, okay. So that's your mark right there. That's your first set of lines. So that'll be an equal distance between both of those. Now just keep turning it a little bit. Make sure that center dot goes back onto the three quarter inch mark. Put more dots. The first and the end. The first and the one and a half. Keep going around. Making sure that the three quarter stays on the middle dot. One and a half there. And you can see it coming out to be a circle if you still need help drawing it out. Just keep on putting those dots in there until you get it to where you can draw it out yourself. Ok, 
Okay, and you can see that that formed a circle. Now just, you know, just give it a little rough trace all the way around until you get your circle roughed out. So there's there's your circle that you're going to cut out. Now just cut that out. And I'll cut that out off camera in a minute. Let's do the second one. This is the one and a quarter inch circle. At one and a quarter inch, you're going to want to put the ruler, the middle of the ruler, at five eighths. So the five eighths mark is the mark that is one past the half if you have trouble knowing what 5 eighths is. But you can see on here, I'm going to go from 1 to 2, that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So each one of those on mine is equal to an eighth. So it's the 1 right past the half inch mark. You want it there, then mark it at 1 and a quarter, mark it at the back, and do the same thing, making out those and roughing out that circle. Anyway, that is how you make circles for this without a little circle maker thing. So I'm going to cut these out and get them ready for the video. Y'all don't have to watch me sit and cut circles out. We will be right back. All right, I'm back and I got my circles cut out. So I'm going to show you how to put the ribbon on them now. So whenever you made your circles like that with the um, straight line, you automatically had a center point. And this is very important however you make your circle to mark the center point. Okay? So I'm going to start with the body circle here. And I'm sure it's not a perfect circle, but we're making these for kids. So, I mean, if you want to make a perfect circle, that's fine. But for this video... I am pretty much a perfectionist, but yeah, I can look past it. I can see that it's not a perfect circle and it is secretly driving me crazy, but oh well. So you're also going to need a hot glue, hot glue gun for this. Okay, so when you do this, for the one and a half inch circle, you're going to use your one and a quarter inch ribbon. So all these ribbon pieces are going to go on here. So what you do is, is you take one, and be sure to heat seal all these edges. You just take a flame, run it across the edges. That's fine. If you have a lot of them like this, I'll take a um, nice candle and light it, and then get the edges close to the flame. Don't burn the house down, please. Okay. So what you're going to do is, is take and put this corner right here on that dot that you made in the center. Okay, but you're not going to glue this first one down because after we get all the way around, we're going to tuck under it. So for right now, don't glue that one down. Just hold it there. Take another one, okay, and put it on there just like you had that one. All right, but you want to overlap it to where, work it to where when we fold it around the back, it's not going to show. See if you have it over there you'll show your cardboard so just overlap it so that when it folds after this one it's not going to show the cardboard. Alright and then just put some glue underneath that one to hold it down. Put it across that. I don't know if you can see. I hope everything's clear. I bet I'm working blurry here. Let's focus you up. There we go. Okay. Hope everybody saw that. Let me do it again and focus. So it's the corner of this one on the dot, but don't glue it down. The corner of this one right over the top of the corner of that one. Okay, but overlap it a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to glue in the back right there. Put some glue to the edge of the cardboard and glue that down. Okay, and that'll hold that first piece in place too. Okay, and now you just take and go all the way around the circle doing the same thing. Just putting it right over the top edge like that. And... Okay, I'm back. There was a 
lost a tennis ball crisis, I had to stop and help them find. Anyway, easy your third one. You take, put it right over the top, the corner, right in there with those corners. You don't need to put any overlap or any um, spacer whatsoever. Just build up that center. Okay, get it so that it's just covering the cardboard right there. And then put some glue behind it. And glue that one down. And you're just going to keep going in a circle here. I am going to film and do the whole thing for you here on this one. If you've got it, fast forward. If not, keep watching. I don't have a speed up on my um, video editor. I don't even think I have a video editor. I just have a video converter or something. But anyway, we're just going to keep going in a circle. It feels really weird doing Thanksgiving stuff because here it does not feel like it is winter time at all. We're actually supposed to be getting our first freeze, but I highly doubt it's going to come. <laughs> We're all in shorts and tank tops today. And there's going to be glue strings everywhere. Just keep on going around that circle and I'll show you what to do about the back of it here in a minute. I'm going to show you how to finish the circle off so that it tucks under that first one and then we finally get to glue that first one down all the way but it should be held tight in place by the glue that we put on that second one. Darn glue strings like spider webs. I'm still in focus here. Yeah. Just keep building that center up. It's going to feel like that center is getting thick right there. It doesn't matter. It will be fine. This is a lot easier than it looks or than you might have thought it was to cover these circles. It took me forever to figure out how to cover these circles right, trying different techniques, trying to glue them one at a time and fold them over, but to me this is just the easiest way and I'm going to be doing several tutorials for Christmas using the same method to make little candies, little striped candies, and stuff like that. But for right now, we're doing turkeys. And y'all, I won't film doing the entire other circle. I'll just stop it and do it. It's the same concept. It's just a little smaller, but you do the exact same thing. Ribbon is shorter. Circle is smaller. This is already going to be a pretty long tutorial. Okay, we're getting on around there now to where it's going to start overlapping. Okay, go ahead and get a couple more on here. Okay, and you may use more, you may use less of these, depending on how close together you get them, how precise your circle was, or whatever, but that's why it never hurts to have some extras. Okay, and now when you get this overlap right here, this is why we did not glue down that. So you're going to pull that up and just tuck that under right there, so that's the edges underneath there. And then you're going to start tucking to put them, make sure your corner goes to the middle right there. Okay, and you just 
barely cover up. These are going to be a little off. I guess I could yeah, not quite get that to where it's going to cover up that, so we'll have to do two more in there. But just tuck that, and then that'll make your full circle without the center looking funny. Okay, and then the last one, you can tuck it in there, work it down in there, get the center over there. If you need to use some tweezers, go ahead, get it to the center, get the back of it over. Just make sure it's right up against that one. Okay. And then just fold them both back and get some glue underneath both of them. Right there on the end. Okay. Now, we're going to turn it over and glue the back. So now you should have the full pinwheel right there. Now just turn it over and start folding them down. You can usually start with the ones here that are overlapping each other. Start with that one in the back right there. Put some glue on it and just simply lay it down tight. Just fold it down tight right there and then just keep on doing that all the way around. Put it on a few of them at a time. Fold it down tight whichever direction it wants to lay. Just keep it tight so that it maintains that circle edge right there. Just keep on folding. Some of them are going to start folding back over the top. That's okay. Keep the circle-ish nature of it going. The back is going to look terrible, but if you want, I mean, that part will be against, it, obviously it's the back, but you can put a piece of felt over the top of it if you have some, a little felt circle to clean it up in the back. If they're starting to um, fold over each other, that's okay. Just work them down flat. That's why I would just do a couple at a time here. Just work them down, pull them tight against the back. Okay, so almost done. Those two, of course, are out of sync with the others, but I'm going to go ahead and fold those two down first, and then that final one right there, and voila, there is the middle. And don't worry if you didn't get them quite perfect in the middle because this is the belly. You're going to put a jewel over the top of it or whatever you want to put in the middle, a little heart or something. If it's the head, the beak will end up over the top. So there's the circle. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with your one and a quarter inch circle. I cut out one too many there. Only you're going to do it with your one inch pieces of ribbon. Be sure and start out with that one on there. Do not glue it down. Put the second one on top of it. Okay. Just overlap it a little bit and just glue that second one. But whenever you lay the glue over the top and get some glue on that, it will hold that first one in place. So it's not going to go anywhere. Do the same thing all the way around that one and I'm going to do that and come right back. Okay, I'm to the um, last steps of the smaller circle and I just wanted to show y'all one more time how when you get to that final edge right there where it's starting to overlap back here this was their very first ribbon this is the last one that I've glued so far you just do that pull it up and tuck right up underneath there then take your last piece slide it up in there this one came out more evenly spaced than the other one did that goes up under there like that and you're to the end Okay, you can use some tweezers to really pull it into place, get it there, pinch it down, shape it, and then pull up and get some glue underneath those final, the final one and the first one. Finish it off, gluing those two down right there, 
and then turn it over and start folding down the back. Okay, now that I have my two circles finished right here, the rest of the turkey tutorial should go pretty smooth and quick. Get the glue strings out. So we're going to set those aside for right now. And you're going to take all your feather pieces, which I've already folded them around, but I'm in, I left one so that I can show you how to do it. So these are your three and a half inch pieces are the colors, and your four inch pieces are the browns. Now the difference is, is the colors I put up front, the browns are in the back. So whatever colors you decide to work with and use, that is how you're going to do it. Let me focus it the level where I'm going to work and let's get started okay so what you did it was what we're going to do with all of those feather pieces okay is going to do a awareness fold which is where you take it and you fold it up and over like this and um, that would be an awareness ribbon right there okay so you're taking the back of this one okay and putting it at the top of this side so the back to the top but sometimes I have you glue them like that, end to end, that makes a really circular loop. And uh, But this time we want kind of pointy feathers, so just put them together like that. We have a little triangle overlapping right there, doesn't make a big deal. So when you get that like that, put a little glue in the center right there. And that makes that feather piece right there. So, you're going to do that with all of your feather pieces, and I've already done it, so let's move on. Now you take one brown feather, and one colored feather, and lay the colored one on top, okay, and glue them together at the ends, right down there at the ends, making sure that they're overlapped like that. Just put some glue in between them, right there. And you glue all your feather pieces together like that. Just all the colors. So it's one of your three and a half inch piece loops, which are the colors, and one four inch loop, which is the brown. And just glue them all together like that. Just keep going, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the feathers assembled over here. Now I'm going to show you how to make the waddle. If you only have a 3 8 piece, 8 inch piece of grow grain, you just take it and cut it straight in half to make a smaller piece. If you already have a smaller piece, great. You don't have to do this step, but I always find myself not having the pieces I need and having to fabricate them, so I'm going to show you all how to do the same. You just do that, and then you heat seal along that edge, being careful not to heat it too much that it curls. Okay, and then make sure you do the ends, and at one end I like to give it a little more heat so that it rounds, just like that. Okay, and you can make this as long or as short as you want for your waddle. So that's how you do the waddle. The beak is going to be a triangle. You just take a piece of scrap yellow or um, orange and just cut at an angle like that over and you got your triangle beak. Grab it with the tweezers and quickly heat seal that back part. Being careful not to do it too much that it curls up because when it curls up and dies you got to do another one. So, and if it's not quite the triangle that you want, like that, you can always really get precise by folding this in half and cutting across, but usually I can just eyeball it. I'm working away from my ribbon because the camera is between my face and my hands, but you get the idea. Find yourself a triangle and then heat seal it up and that'll be your beak. So you're going to take your small circle okay, and glue your beak. Well actually you're going to glue your waddle on first so just glue it right there in the center of the circle. Just glue the end of that waddle on. You said you make this waddle as short or as long as you want. Just put some glue on it right there. 
and just glue it right onto that center circle kind of at an angle I mean we're going to twist it to the angle but um, kind of on an angle whenever we put it on to here okay now take your beak that one's not right we're going to use this one put some glue on your beak and make sure that you put it on there with the point facing downward and then just lay it right over the top of that red piece right in the center and our turkey's face is starting to come through now take your google eyes okay and stick them on here just grab them some glue and google eye your turkey right over the top of his beak okay and that made our turkey's face that makes it a whole lot easier for me anyway to assemble it after I see what his face looks like alrighty so there's his face now just take and glue it onto his head onto his body just a little bit down if your circle wasn't absolutely perfect or some of your folds didn't go over right you know put them in the back just put them behind the turkey's head right here at the top so put them together put a pretty good dollop of glue on here to hold the head on and just lay it on there however you want him to look okay and there's your turkey's body Okay, now let's start putting the feathers on. So I did three oranges and two yellows, so I'm going to put them, stagger them around each other. So when you lay his feathers on, okay, you don't want them to be way up here where you got all that. Just kind of middle, put it in the middle, right there between the point. I mean, you wouldn't want him to be all the way up here either. So just put it, just put it however you think his turkey feather ought to look however feels right to you and once you get it in place in the right spot right centered between his eyeballs you can hold it in place and flip it over and put some glue under there and it's going to feel like it's getting a little thick in the back because of all the layers but that is okay you may just need a bigger loop I mean I'll make these with um, lined alligator clips and they work fine I also make them with the snap clips. I also make them with pins for little boys who don't like decorations in their hair. Now take a yellow one, okay, and line it up behind it, right there, next in line, right there, okay. Just give it a little peek to make sure it looks right. Hold it in place, and glue that. Same thing on the other side. Just kind of line it up, give it a peek to make sure it's coming out right, and it's in there far enough. Do that one, and the final two. Get all the glue strings off before your stuff goes flying. Put it down there like that see if it's in the right spot if you glued him a little further down on your body like I did this one it's okay if it overlaps onto the body right there but I glued his head a little high up on his body so his feathers aren't gonna touch does it matter it's still the cutest thing ever we're almost finished I hope you all like my version of the turkey I may do the other version with the awareness loop body there are already several tutorials that show that version on there but I may make one anyway for y'all put the final set of feathers on okay. and your turkey is done get all the glue strands off you're going to want to put some kind of design right there in the middle um, just use your tweezers to stick it on I had some little amber hearts somewhere that I can put on there 
decide what kind of clippy you want to use and put it on there on the back I have a little amber jewel like that mm. but I really like the little amber hearts they're just little plastic jewels put the drop of glue in the middle grab your jewel and stick it on I hope y'all can't hear that TV playing in the background. My dad's watching procedural cop shows and there are people screaming. <laughs> anyway, there is how you make your turkey. And as you can see, it is a little bit cuter when you put the turkey's head a little further down on the body. That way the feathers are all the way down, but it's still cute. Either way you slice it, just work with it. Put him however you want him to. And that's how you make the turkey. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and glue. You can put a piece of round felt over this if you want or just leave it. Put some kind of clippy on the back. Glue it on there. Pin or whatever and you're ready to go. Happy Thanksgiving!